sorry guys I uh, lost connection on my camera there he wanted me to look at uh, looks like a big commercial freezer but I told her I'm sorry I can't take that and uh, I said you know if you call the company they have a rack body truck with a tailgate lift uh, I told them they, they would more than likely come get it for you I said I really can't uh, you know do stuff like that See here, look at how many times people hit this wall. Here, here, over here, over here. Because it's a stupid setup. We have a, a compactor. Oh, it's not here. He must have just taken it. We have a compactor that goes in here. It's tight as hell between the walls. So you got to be extra careful backing that on. And then you got me. With a six yarder, you got a wall here that when you come in at an angle to get this, you got about maybe six inches between you and that wall. But you know, that's the way they made it, so that's what you got to deal with. So. I'm sure you guys, that drive front end got stops somewhat set up the same as what I got. Pain in the neck to get into. Then see when I'm backing up now, I don't have a lot of room between the back of my truck and that wall on my right side. And on my left side, don't have a lot of room at all. So this is one stop, you got to be very careful. Just one more stop because we are we are full full so let me put this back and uh, back out of here I got a three yarder down the street I can take care of that I hope and then we'll come back out Put my hand out the window, close this gate. Let me back out of here. I remember years ago driving a Mack Packer. It was a nine speed, eating full of trans. Back then, there were no. <laughs> Backup cameras or hopper cameras. There was none of that. You know, it was self judgment. You know, you think you're close enough, stop, you know. But things were different back then. Let me back up a little bit. As you know, these guys ain't going to stop. Now every new truck comes with uh, a backup camera. Uh, the new Peterbilt's I know they come with a hopper camera. So, you know, I, and again, 
and I guess it's how whoever orders them and how they spec it out, you know what I mean? So we're going to try, we got to do that yet, <coughs> come back and get that. We got one stop here at this building on the corner. And I tell them all the time, I come every Thursday, don't park in the way. Guess what, they always park in the way. Well, not today, wow. Cool. Let me pack it up a few times. Make a little bit of room. chance to uh where is it I didn't get a chance to spray what I like to do maybe everybody doesn't like to do it but I put an armor all on here and it really seems to help with the dirt not sticking like a tar you know what I mean because when you constantly dump the containers where does all the shit land? Right here on your wipers, on the front of the truck. And uh, I don't know, it's just somebody, somebody told me a long time ago when I was doing front end, you know, put some armor oil or a wax on here and it will stop all that shit from sticking to the, uh, to the front of the truck, you know what I mean? I usually do around the lights too, do everything. This way it looks even. I do the molding around the Mac. I don't know, maybe I'm just anal. Or I just like things clean. Nothing wrong with being clean, I guess. But, you know, I think for me, the way I look at it, the customer sees a nice clean garbage truck. They'll probably say, wow, this guy's good, man. Keeps his truck clean. You'll take care of my stop, which I do. Clean truck or no clean truck, I always take care of the stops. And uh, I don't know, I just like to do it. Just makes me feel good too that my truck looks good, it looks clean. And it just takes, just takes a few minutes to do this, it doesn't take long. Get all that crap off of there. Clean off the wipers, you know. So, doesn't take long at all to do it. Then I do in here. Let's give it a quick wipe down because, you know, there's always a lot of dust. Do in here. amazing how much dust you know what I mean so this is the stuff 303 protect I use here on the black and it keeps it nice and shiny keeps it looking new so I like it it works good I also put this on the fuel tank wipe the fuel tank down just spray it on I just spray it on 
let it sit for a minute I do my toolbox also uh, sometimes if I have enough I will do the uh, the butt flaps but I'm kind of running low on supply so I got to pick some up so there it is just kind of puts a nice shine on the tank makes it look clean gives a little shine for a while wow I missed a lot of spots on my tires man what the hell's going on Dan get that other spray this spray has to go on the other side it's almost gone already this is called Meguiar's Hot Shine I think it works the best on these big ass tires keeps them looking nice and shiny you know and I try to save a little bit this way if I need to do a a touch up or you know like just now if I missed a spot I can get back to it so that's just me I've always been that way with whatever truck I'm 